Welcome to my channel. My name is Bernard. I'm a violin teacher. Today's etude exercise that we're going to be studying will be number 30 of the Wolfhart Opus 45 series. So number 30 is sort of a culmination for Wolfhart of his first position practice that we, he does extend you quite a bit. It's not just simple first position. There's many, many extensions where that fourth finger goes up a half step. So it gives you that little extra range of notes. There's, um, there's a number of technical things in this piece. Now, as far as the bowing goes, it's pretty straightforward. I'm look, glancing through it. The whole piece is just one bar per bow, eight notes, eight eighth notes. And that seems pretty simple, but he does a lot of things with the left hand. So it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful exercise for just controlling the bow going across strings. Lots of left hand stuff in this piece. I always suggest to my students when you start the piece, play 2-3-4. Three, three. In the music it's marked 2-3-3. Three, three. Play 2-3-4. It'll be clean and gives you, gets you used to playing that chromatic. Remember chromatic means all color. So chromatic fingering would be like half steps, 2-3-4. So try that. You've got the extension in bar one, where you have F sharp high up there on the E string, X, X, F sharp to C natural. Um, for students with small hands, you might, you might consider playing, let's say you're playing a full size violin, you might get a, get hold, rent a, a three quarter size so you have a little bit narrower, narrower, you know, fingerboard, narrow, I should say shorter, shorter fingerboard. And you might be able to get some practice extending. And then as your hand stretches out, maybe if you're still, you know, a normal, you know, five foot, five foot five, whatever, wherever you are height wise with your fingers, you'll be able to fit. Your hand will fit better on a full size. I'm, of course, playing full size violins, but I've been playing for a long time and my muscles are quite stretched. So this is a good, good etude for practicing these extensions. Notice on bar six, you have the same thing on the A string. It's a little more difficult on the A string to get that. You got to move your elbow around, you know, help yourself with the elbow to get a little more leverage when you go to that for that fourth finger F natural. Um, in measure seven, eight, nine, measure nine, I like to start with that C sharp second finger, then open, then second finger G. In the next measure, in measure 10, I usually play third finger C sharp. So I'll play a third finger C sharp, open E, second finger G. Um, coming down to measure 17, oh, this is a, that's a difficult passage where you have the extension for the C natural to A to F sharp, and you do it twice. It's quite challenging, so be careful of that. In measure 22, I change the fingering. I like to shift, or I have my students shift, right? Obviously, it's not a problem for me. Get my students to shift to second position on the A, on the third beat of the bar. So we're now in second position all the way through that bar and bar 23. Come across, play a third finger D on the G string, and then you can either stay in, you can stay in, in second position or come back to first position in bar 24. But then of course in bar 25, we're back to first position. So that's a really a highlight. I would highlight that. I've had many a student, you know, we've already been studying second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position in other books. So this is an opportunity here in this book. It's out of character for Wolfhard. He suggested staying in first position with doing this 4-4 four, four at the end of the bar. But I think it's a great opportunity. So we play second position for the for two and a half bars, basically. Just stay in stay in stay in the position. Matter of fact, I have it marked for some students. I, I come back to first position, but I'll mark it here so I remember just to stay, stay in second position. All right, now we come to some really fun stuff. In measure 25, I like this passage. These are across the string arpeggios. I like to, I have like to finger them two different ways. At bar 25, I have you play it as it's marked until the third beat. Instead of playing the third finger, I play second finger. And Wolfhard actually suggests that in the music, two alternative fingerings, but let's let's make it clean. So the first time we stay in first position, we play second finger G, come back down, both those both those measures. And then, and I, you know, since you're playing a second finger B on the A string, you're technically in half position. So 
I reconfirm in bar 27, I'm going back to third finger C, open three. So that's there. Now in bar 29, now we change the fingering. Now we play open two, one, two, four. I don't play open E in this measure for two measures. So open two, one, two, four. You'll see it when I play it for you. You can watch it for two measures. And then in bar 33, we this time we play the top finger where we're in half position for B natural, F natural, third finger G. And you'll see when you watch me play it, my hand is very, very compacted. We do that for two measures. So that's a nice contrast between measures 25 and measure 33. So have fun with that one. Um, in measure 37, I do play the fingering just as marked where we're in that half position, B flat, C sharp, and then open E. Um, toward the end of this line there, suddenly he brings back that extension to C natural. That's kind of a shock at that point because we've been compacting our hand into the half position and now suddenly we've got to open up with the extension. Looking through, down at 57, okay, this is a good, it's a diminished chord going up. Play open 2, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3 on the C sharp and then an open E. So make note of that diminished chord. That's it. That's again, it's challenging. Wolfhard has done this on purpose, where he extends you with the, you know, there's extension. You got to open your hand up, and then you got to close your hand back down. And of course, I'm talking about the left hand. Okay, and that's about that's about all the the most difficult stuff. It's a it's a challenging etude. Um, I think you'll enjoy it, and you'll grow a lot from it. And now remember, when we get to uh, to etude 31. We're suddenly going to go to third position. The entire etude is in third position. So that's going to be a real surprise for you. Okay, thanks so much for listening. I hope this is helpful for you to get more and more enjoyment and knowledge and skill from every one of these etudes. Take care. We'll see you on the, on the, next, on the next video. <laughs>